Having seen the type of instrument approaches in the previous class, now let's see the approach segments for any approach, whether it is a precision approach or non-precision approach. Way back earlier, there were three. Later on, they were changed to four. Presently, there are five approach segments. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're Captain speaking from Flight Deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your journey. The next class, what we will do? So, this class we will see approach approach segments. And this is remember instrument approach, it could be precision, could be non precision. Initially, three, then four, now we follow five. The first is your arrival segment, it was not there. Normally, what we refer it as a star standard arrival routes we will see those what those standard arrival routes are there for any major airport from any direction when you're coming wherever your airways terminating from there your arrival route starts standard so uh, it is cleared when you cleared for any approach they clear you for that arrival we'll see some example also of that then we have initial approach segment then we have final approach segment and missed approach segments so there are five so you may or may not have arrival loot if you don't have any arrival loot obviously then it will start with at the major airport all major airport they have their stars and you are cleared for that particular star you follow predetermined path route where this star is not there you have intermediate approach fix initial approach fix at many airport you may not have intermediate approach fix so then you will have initial and final so you have intermediate then final and the last is miss approach segment a decade back or more than one and a half decade back there were hardly any this part of the world we didn't have star. Now all the major airport you have standard arrival route. From wherever the airway is terminating, from there it is a route. Let's see for some examples. So they are always named. Remember those uh, who did when we did uh, flight plan in the item number 15 route only seed is given, star is given, both seed and star is given. So it is both. Sit and star is given. So, this is your arrival route. So, normally when you are clear, this is for again example for the Chennai. Here, when you are clear, it is for a runway. You can see here runway is 30. And they have given name. It, here it is Akubu, correct. So, when you are clear, let us say these are the standard arrival when you are coming. If you are coming from the south, let us say this is Chennai. South, if you are coming, you are Bangalore or Mangalore or all those airports which are in the south, all these airways are terminating here. This Victor 007, Romeo 457 or 425, all these are airways. So, if you are coming from south, that is how it is. Similarly, if you are coming from southwest, the, the airway comes here. If you are coming from Mumbai or from the uh, Delhi also, if you go to Chennai, you have this arrival route. So, if you are coming here, can you see this Whiskey 116? This airway terminates here. So, let us say if you are coming from Bangalore, so radar controller will clear you. Okay, runway news 30 clear for a Kubu arrival transition tango. Transition means up to here you are coming on the airway. Now, the transition is tango, or if you are coming from Delhi, a Kubu arrival transition TBAM. You get it? So, any aircraft which is let us say if you are coming, you are you will be cleared for TBAM from TBAM, this whole route is given. Can you see this 098? This track is given. In fact, it is written TBAM to Beckham. Flight level should be 90, more than 90, and speed should be less than 250. So, nobody is giving you control. This chart is published for the arrival route. So, here you can see here 098, you are coming to Beckham. 
this is a name which is given to a point, waypoint. And here it is written at or above flight level 90 and maximum speed is. So from here, your arrival is, you, in case of hold, you will be holding here. It will give you, make one hold at Bacon. If any, we have already seen holding, what holding is. So in case, if you are holding, then you go to Akubu. Can you see this? All these points are given. Mike Mike 507, at or above flight level 70, at or above flight level 400, speed control, till here. That is your standard arrival route. From here, this whatever is, you see this, any guess what it is? This arrows, this is a radar control. From here, the radar will take over. He will give you turn left, right, or whatever the controlling is done. But till then, he will, you will just, he will give you clear for the arrival. You are supposed to reach this point. Thereafter, he will control you. Turn left, turn right, intercept, localizer, 3, 0, or whatever it is, the call he will give. So that is the arrival route. Now, you may not have arrival route, then you have direct initial approach fix. So this is again, if there is no arrival route or something, at, then this is for learning only if you see here. Let's say if you are coming from Delhi. So you have something called initial approach fix, IAF. It is given, can you see this? Initial approach fix, this is the radial 342, means north may hai, and at the 14 miles. Can you see this? Initial approach fix. So any aircraft which is coming from Delhi, this is the airway which is terminating here. Now from this airway, aircraft will descend to how much? 4,000 feet and will follow this arc. It is given how many DME arc? 12 DME arc. So any aircraft is coming, initial approach fix 14 mile, thereafter it is turning right and carry out a left hand arc. Now this arc will continue. Can you see this? Now after this radial 301, you can descend to 2300 feet. This is again reading your charts also that gets completed. Instrument charts, how they are read. So it is 2300 feet. You will continue like this. And here on the radial 260, IEF stands for intermediate fix. Initial approach is here, IEF, intermediate approach fix, where you commence the approach. You may or may not have intermediate fix practically when you fly. You may not have at all the airports. But IEF is for intermediate fix. Now, at intermediate fix, you can descend to 1800 feet if you see here. So only thing altitude information is given here. So this is your intermediate approach fix. So you have initial approach fix. Like I said, you may have star or you may not have star. All these airways, when there is no star, can you see this? All these airways are terminating here. Wherever from any place you are coming, that's what your airway finishes at intermediate approach fix. Oh, sorry, correction, initial approach fix. But all are following the same procedure. Can you see this? From wherever you are coming. Similarly, if you are coming from Bangalore, this is all you are coming from the south. That's what this airways is. Now, here, if you see, and if aircraft is coming, let's say if you are coming from Delhi, you will follow this arc. Descend to 2300. Up to here is your initial approach segment. So your initial approach segment starts at initial approach fix and finishes at intermediate fix. So please see your, in your notes. Initial approach segment. In the initial approach segment, aircraft is directed to a point at which the intermediate segment can be intercepted. It starts at IEF and ends at intermediate fix. I have shown you here rather than reading just in books, I am showing you in the chart how it is. So it starts at initial approach fix and finishes at intermediate approach fix. That is exam question. It is highlighted. Aircraft speed and configuration will depend upon the distance from the aerodrome and any need for descent. Minimum obstruction clearance. In this segment, this question you will find frequently being asked during initial approach fix.
how much is the obstruction clearance requirement minimum so when it is given whether it is a 4000 or 2000 or 300 feet altitude this ensures how much 300 meters uh, this is asked in uh, even in ATP exam, ATPL exam during initial approach segment the minimum obstruction MOC is 300 meters so all this altitude they ensure this clear so two things in this where it starts where it is and how much is the obstacle clearance requirement in this segment now from here you will have from here till your final approach fix is your intermediate approach segment now let's see intermediate approach segment so from here till 5.5 mile is given this is your final approach fix is given. So, up to here is your this red one is your intermediate approach segment. So, it starts where it starts at intermediate fix and finishes at final approach fix. So, please read intermediate segment. This is the segment in which aircraft speed and configuration is adjusted. So, again important as a pilot where you adjust those speeds and so, this is the segment here. So, this is the segment in which the aircraft speed and configuration adjusted to prepare for the final approach descent in this segment is kept to minimum because normally it is very close to the ground when you are descended. So, you do not want to descend increase your rate of descent too much. So, even if this see you are descending from 2300 to 1800 feet. So, just about 500 feet you are descending that is why the descent you are close you are turning you are configuring you are all doing so many so much of workload so that is why the descent close to ground you do not want to increase rate of descent very high so practically also when you fly the descent many places when you go this descent during this segment is kept to minimum it starts at intermediate fix and end at final approach fix if no final approach fix is given Kayanush which you are telling if there is no final approach fix exist it ends when the aircraft established on the final inbound track. So, what you said partly it was right. So, where there is no, so the moment you intercept your final approach track, then this segment completes. Again, important for you for the exam. In this segment, the aircraft, uh, the minimum obstruction clearance in this intermediate segment reduces from 300 meter to 150 meters. Again, examination question. So, obstruction clearance minimum obstruction clearance in this segment is 300 meter which is roughly 1000 feet in this segment now it is reduced to 150 meters pertinent question how much should be the thing how much obstruction clearance should be there in this segment now from here what segment will start your final approach because in the final approach whether it was a non-precision approach or in the precision approach you commence your descent aircraft is fully configured and you are coming into land here so in the final approach segment descent is commenced for the final landing now here the MOC minimum obstruction clearance varies because you are coming very close to ground and we saw some example when we were studying regulation displays threshold any obstructions or something so at various places it changes so we will not go into that relevant important is for your initial approach segment 300 meters and in intermediate approach segment is 150 meters so your final approach segment starts at final approach fix and ends at where khatam ka hogi absolutely right in non precision approach it will be at d or dh in non precision approach it will be at missed approach point so there is a difference map is in the non precision approach by the way in precision approach your map and dh both are same the minimum descent which you can carry out and decision both are same your missed approach point and da is both same so your final all approach segment finishes at missed approach point so when if you see the runway in 
precision approach you continue till map if you see the runway you land otherwise the final approach segment finishes at your map and now from here onwards you have missed approach segment now missed approach segment is further divided into three parts you have initial missed approach you have intermediate approach missed approach and you have final missed approach again you have question in regulations from this so moment you reach your missed approach point your uh, final approach segment is over from thereafter you have missed approach segments starts that we will see in the next class till then stay tuned this is your captain surinder singh